Hello everybody and welcome to the stream. <coughs> Glad to see everybody capable of coming out here. Hi Groucho. Uh, hope that your Saturday is finding you well. Hello everybody and welcome to the stream. Turn off the sound on that. Because if it's not making mistakes, I don't know what I am doing. Okay. We're going to get started at Taffington Boathouse here today. And I am going to do my level best to keep from accidentally silencing or reprimanding people with the cord to my headset. Because that's a thing that I did last night. So we're here at Taffington. Which, obviously, I just threw some defenses up here and left during gameplay. Everybody knows that roof is an absolute nightmare. But this does have a very nice position because there's there are limited directions from which people could attack and I'm going to evaluate this as a uh, what you would do if you were really doing a settlement not just the uh, spawn points now granted in the real world the distance from here to that boat ramp is not so much that you couldn't attack with a firearm effectively. However, I think it's supposed to be... What is making that thumping noise? I think it's supposed to be representative of a larger distance. But we've got some plants out here. Looks like just the gourds are here, but... I did patch part of this because it used to be... You could walk through here, if I'm not mistaken, so I did throw a patch up on here. We're going to need to get rid of Mr. Dead Brahmin. There's something underneath the deck in the water that's uh, causing that splash. I don't know if anybody's ever paid any attention, but this boat is bigger than this slip. So, leaving it up there is an option. And we may, in fact, take that option. Let's see what's underneath here before we, uh... Oh. Blood bug. This, uh... Location being... Very well suited for... Uh, water purification. Brookie, good to see you. Silver Fox. Russ. Roger. Wow, the, everybody's just streaming in quickly this morning. Good to see you all. Uh, this area over here is absolutely perfect for large-scale water purification. Because in the real world, purified water would be one of the most valuable things going. N very few people would give a damn about other items. Let's find that person here. Okay, she's in here. I'm going to put her 
on a guard post, so she's completely out of my way. And then uh, I can move the guard post later on. Don't you go anywhere, young lady. Mermelnir! Welcome aboard, sir. Alright, let's uh, get a whole bunch of resources out here while we're moving right along. Gotta leave the guardrail if I can. As a lot of us have seen in other aspects of the game, I could take that pole out, but the wires will stay. Since the wires will stay, I do not want to take the pole out. Now, I am going to take these plants out but before I do, I'm going to make a uh, quick save. The uh, food plants, obviously, is what I'm referring to. Because just like with SARS Phantom Corn, I don't want them to have a phantom gourd in the front yard if I can't uh, get rid of it they'll actually do farming out here but if I can uh, here comes the uh, provisioner and I do see it is getting dark so you probably can't see much of anything, so let's cop a swat. Oh, pardon me. I think I'm just getting acclimated here and my allergies are starting to kick in because starting to discover sneezy bits. And it's only certain times a day. Um... There are very few re places where I prefer to build in the dark, uh, Doug. I don't want to build in the dark during stream normally, but I do use nighttime building to get my lighting effects correct because obviously you cannot see uh, in the dark to... or in the daylight where light is going to spill and if you're putting the light the way you want it but other than that the only reason I end up building in the dark a lot is I'm not paying attention and on my screen it's brighter than it is on your screen okay so I want to store that that's one two Three, four, and five. 
No phantom gourds. Excellent. Now, I imagine... Whoever is going to end up living here... Is going to have their work cut out for them. Just looking for things to scrap. That I don't want to scrap the barrels in a uh, shovel right now, because I might end up using a farm out front, and it's pre-decorated. We'll leave it that way for right now. I know the... Uh, lady upstairs... I can scrap the coffee cup. Needs to be deleted. Where there you are. Bye, Mary Sutton. We'll want to rebuild this bathroom. <clears throat> and we'll want to do something up top. But not necessarily, uh... Restore the roof structure. We might just put a, uh... A second floor up there. And... That'll be the, uh, call it good moment here. Still planning, though, so things can, of course, change. That's the house frame. I want the vine. It's one of the things that I am really disappointed in uh, vanilla, that things like vines are not scrappable. You have to get a mod. And... That's why we saved earlier. You gotta get a mod to scrap the vines. Um, Dalton, I wasn't saying that I would be building a, uh, I was calling the piece the second floor, which technically it's a, uh, it's an shack upper floor is the name of the piece. But yes, I was already on the second floor, therefore it would be a third floor, but it's really going to be used because it's thicker than a regular floor. So, and it's got that, uh, metal. But things like the vines on the house really irritate me. Because Bethesda went out of their way to build so many things you could do in the building of uh, things. And so many things you could scrap. But in vanilla, you can't get rid of the vines. And of course, if you're not paying attention to what you're doing, in the uh, you can scrap the roof instead of the vine. Like I just did with the wall over there. <laughs> I'm too tongue over to argue with you. No, I, I said it incorrectly, but... 
even if I had used the uh, proper piece name, I think that you would have gotten the gist. You're an honorary cuss sometimes, though, Dalton. You'll pick on me for the slightest little thing, which is what's in so endearing about you, I guess. That's how I'm supposed to say it. Okay, we've got a majority of the things that I definitely want scrapped outside scrapped. I do believe that people... Oh, I almost forgot to scrap the cow. I do believe people would clean up most of their living and or workspaces. I really wish there was a way to clear those wires out. But hey, it is what it is, right? Alright, so if we're going to do a water purification place, we can go all the way out to here. which is roughly even with the little part of the dock that, or the deck that sticks out like a small dock. So that, we've got a lot of room to put a lot of water purifiers here. And of course we can always sell that water to everywhere in the Commonwealth. And of course, in game mechanic wise, if I'm producing a hundred water here and it's just getting stuffed in the uh, workbench, as long as there's water in the workbench, other uh, settlements that we found will be green on zero water. <laughs> Would I have mumbled jackass? Mm. I plead the fifth. Now, generally speaking, this road frontage, they need the transportation in and out of their settlement just as badly as people need to go other places. So I'm gonna take the road edge as the edge of the settlement. Let's get rid of the floating leaves because they're not floating on anything so that bothers the hell out of me. Don't need that there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use the, the road edge on this side as the edge of the settlement. And we can pretty much use this fence line as the line of the settlement on this side. So if we were to uh, wall from here over to here, the rock becomes a integral part of the edge. Yeah. Now I can uh, maybe do some magic with uh, bulking up this fence on this side. I don't think NPCs can walk on this narrow part here, because I would like to have a uh, guard post out here, but it looks like the only place for a guard post is that little dock that sticks out. So now the question is, where do we start 
first. I think the inside of the house is a good spot to finish with because a lot of this is just going to be decorating. I can get rid of the broken fridge. Yeah, most of this is going to be decorating. Uh, very little construction just upstairs is going to be construction. So let's start with the... Uh, the purification area and go from there. They're going to need to be able to walk out to the purifiers. Oh, Bethesda. What are you doing? Had you put that in there right, it would have been golden. All right. Oh, hi, Claire. Welcome aboard. Now, I'm thinking I have seen some of these before where people do purifiers out here at Taffington. And there is a limited amount of... Uh, trickery you can use. Slightly... And if I'm square onto this, I can pull it back towards me. That precise placement tool at work. Is it straight? It is not straight. There we go. I have room for one more. No, this was the last one. Okay. So now, then, if I replace one of these or a pair of these in the middle, and it's not a waste of the concrete because I am going to actually be uh, moving them to the to do a second row over here. Now, first I should see how big the water purifier is going to take up space. So this one If I put that there, I won't be Okay, so this needs to shift over slightly. Make sure I'm square off to it.
this can come towards me. Like that. And twist a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I should be working from the outside in, I think. I think I made my mistake by working in the center first, but... So watch Rob make mistakes and correct them. Because that's also a valuable learning tool, right? Mistakes are how we become better people. I do my best to use the in-game mechanics. Even with the place everywhere. Let's put you over here Well, I straighten this out. Wrestling with the controller is only half my problem. So what I was thinking is the concrete is a good stable platform for the people to walk on, which is why I want to use it. And naturally wrestling with the controller has turned into a uh, pastime for all to enjoy. Um, come on, give me a brake controller. Concrete stable platform for doing the building, but they want to get water flow through the place, right? So I'm thinking. Let's try and put this over here. Try and get the item squared off. There we go. If They want water flowing in. They also need to get uh, some open area. So I'm going to use a couple of the uh, the piers. And you and I all know that the piers don't go all the way to the bottom. But for looks... They essentially go far enough that they're not visible from the other from outside. Without a blue outline. And a green background. You wouldn't notice that those piers don't go all the way to the bed. Which is really what I'm looking for. Where's the, uh, there's where the power connector is. Of course, the water output part should be above water. Nice thing about place everywhere here. is you can literally place it where it would not be real. 
Did that just jump down into the water? Yeah, it's still below water. So jump down where it's definitely not real in terms of, uh, I'm not going to be able to use this the way I wanted to because it's too close unless I put tiny water purifiers and even they're going to collide, but I can move this. To here and then use this corner as my starting point. That's not one of these is not straight. This one appears to be straight, so I'm thinking it's this one. See how much better that looks. Somewhere there's a tire bouncing. Underneath something here. Might be enough to drive a man crazy. Now can a water purifier fit in the middle here? Denise, I'm so happy that you made it. And Barbarian King. Easy E. And Dog. Wow, you guys are, st are just slipping right in here. Good to see you all. Don't try and jump while you're looking at something that can be connected electrically. Because otherwise you look like... To the game, you look like you're trying to connect it electrically. Oh, that tire is going to drive me nuts. Where is it? Down here somewhere? That must have been it, because I don't hear it again. Yeah, uh, a lot of objects do that, dog. 
um, it's really frustrating. <laughs> You know, I might just uh, replace those other two concrete ones out there with... Let's store these for now. And use the pier sections all the way out. I don't have room for another pier, do I? I do have room for another pier. Just barely. Okay. Now, I know these two sections aren't uniformly distanced. Yep. So instead of doing a walkway, out there, the concrete makes sense as the foundation section, and then they use piers further out to allow water flow into the interior area. Yeah. Makes perfect sense for me. This is true, Dalton, but can anyone actually drink enough to straighten the entire world? I know you're giving it a, a, the old college try. much overlap do we have here? Not much, just support structure overlap. That can actually be closer to the pier by a little bit. You ate a hot dog with ketchup and that caused you to black out for the two days? Or was it the 72 beers you drank with that hot dog?
again, if the legs are crossed over a little bit, doesn't bother me at all. That can come closer. It was the ketchup. <laughs> uh, King, uh, in case you couldn't hear it, that that slapping sound was me face palming on your on your dad joke. And here's where Rob falls into the water all day. I can't go any lower than that. Must be still touching the pier. I, I, Groucho, he's not very different from me. I believe mustard belongs on hot dogs, not ketchup. Oh. Stepped outside the build area for a second there. What was I thinking? These can be much lower. These people are going to produce a heck of a lot of water. That's their purpose in life. All right, that's one too many, I think. If they're stacked so closely you can't see between them, you put too many of the things there. Now let's uh, move this one over this way.
All right, there was too, too many of them. Now, in the real world, somebody would have to operate all these. And I do have a plan to make it appear that these are being worked by a uh, dedicated worker. Hopefully, it will work out the way I think it will. How many of these do I put here? Hey, Slacker! Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight. Eight is a good number. You know, I'm talking about people working these things, and I just realized I don't remember if I turned on the beacon at Starlight City. Now then, these produce 10 water, these produce 10 water. But... I think the inside uh, area here... ...can use just a little bit more water purification. Because, I mean, that's what we're doing here, is we're purifying water for the entire commonwealth. Didn't really need the wood, but I needed the space. make sense. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these, yep, they all connect on the back side and then the big ones are the front side.
try not to walk off the dock while I'm wiring everything up. Ah, railings are for suckers, Doug. And Hawk. Tomorrow is the Xbox Bethesda uh, live stream, Hawk. Definitely going to be paying attention to what they're having to say. Because I really feel... Is there something underneath here again? Oh, it's still him. House. Vine. Deck. Can't get... Well, he'll de despawn eventually. Alright. What I was thinking is because there's no way in Hades this would ever be an actual usable boathouse for this boat. Let's turn this into a generator shed. And do I need these posts anywhere else? I don't want to get rid of them if... Just get rid of these traps. Store that. Okay. That's a scaffolding ladder. Okay, gotta turn collision off. That looks straight. Mostly, maybe. I'm trying to use that plank on the side as an indicator of where the uh, piece needs to go. And of course, that was not the best way to do that. There. There's the other tripwire. I knew there was two of those in here. No matter which way you go, you end up with that little overhang. Okay. I definitely want to see what Microsoft says to Bethesda tomorrow, or with Bethesda tomorrow. I think Draco's is on Twitch, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. 
He's uh, been having some issue with YouTube re in the recent past, and I don't think he's resolved it. Well, that kind of explains one reason why it doesn't fit perfectly in here. Because, well, this little piece here also helps explain it. But, we've got what we need in here, right? Let's uh, take a quick look outside and... It's got the exterior support, so I can get rid of the interior ones without it looking unsu completely unsupported. And if I really need to make it look more supported, I can put a... Uh, barn posts from underneath. So now we need power. Dark money. <laughs> Okay, we've got to have plenty of power here. Let's uh, turn the floor back on. Not even close to straight. Now the question is, is it wide enough to put two if I need a second one? It is wide enough for two. Well, mostly wide enough for two. There we go. So I think I'm going to need more than 100 power for all those water purifiers. Now on the outside, I can put a pylon on the roof. 
I suppose I need a way up onto the roof, though. I haven't seen much from Cordless in a long time, so I used to watch a lot of his stuff. But Cordless, uh, I don't know if how much stuff he's produced of late. I want to try and make that go straight up through the roof, so I'm going to need to... That one is right about there. I think I might have gotten this space right. Let's find out. If I got it in the right place... It'll go... You won't be able to see the wire come up through the roof. Wow, that's pretty darn close to straight up and down, huh? here at the end. Can I make that jump in reverse? I can. Thank you. Do it up here. Actually, might need to use one of the small ones up here just to make it look better. side one look well the side one won't get me uh, connected will it it might if I get that corner just right and yes I know I can still wire glitch it if it didn't want to but I'd rather not if I can avoid it Why does it look like it's trying to go upside down when it's not in the right spot? So you think uh, Bethesda's going to give us a date on Starfield tomorrow?
maybe give us any other uh, items that they have in the works. Well, I think YouTube will be around in five years, just not in the form it is now. And it's dark. I, th I do think that, y that there's a good chance that uh, you're right, that Google gets broken up by the government. I'm... The government likes to regulate things, and I can see that regulation coming to Google, potentially. I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen, but it's a good potential for it to happen. Let's put it that way. Okay, so we have two piers. Both of which have been turned into water purifying havens. I think we need to uh, level some area along the road here and create a little shop area just inside the uh, wall, but now we have to start talking about a wall inside here. So let's go with the original plan and lay out a wall it's got to be straight on this. Um, Starfield... If they could drop Starfield before the end of the year, an announcement tomorrow would restart all the buzz, in my opinion. If they don't give us a near date for Starfield, I agree that the buzz is too far gone. A few too many... Uh, few too many missed opportunities to get it rolling for your average gamer who was really hyped about it when it was announced. It's one of the things about game announcements is if you're if you announce it and then it doesn't come out in a reasonable amount of time, you lose the enthusiasm. I, I think there's going to be uh, a lot of change in the digital landscape in the near future, dog. I'm, and by near future, I'm saying 10 years. I, I don't necessarily see a dramatic change, you know, tomorrow. But that doesn't mean it can't or won't happen. I still have the floor turned on.
Now, one of the things that I learned from Sar is that these half walls can be very, very useful in shoring up a spot that you want to uh, patch but not necessarily go through. Now here I think this half wall a little higher so it looks like we're resting on those tires. It's something that they patched That works for me. And you could actually see them realistically in the real world cutting that metal to get around the rock. And on this side, oh, it's not even close to far enough over though. There we go. From the other side, it looked like it was filling the gap pretty well. Maybe a little bit of twist. There we go. That you can see them cutting the the metal to fit the gap. It does look like it's patched to use the rock. Uh, if they break up Google, it's going to go through the courts for at least 10 years. Who gets what properties? Uh, who's responsible for what liabilities? It is not going to be a simple end of a company as big as Google. I think if if I'm uh, not mistaking what King is talking about there. Now of course with the slope back here, you want to make sure you're buried deep enough that the uh, boards are in the ground, the uh, support boards. We're going to need to bridge that gap. There is a tool in place everywhere that I wish I had better use of myself and let allow you to change the uh, orientation of a piece so you can effectively uh, circle the piece you can change it Ah, oh, what am I saying? Change its axis so that the top could be the bottom if you wanted. Eventually I'll find the word and then I'll feel like a dunce for not saying it correctly to start with. But, uh, I don't have good command of that feature and I would have liked to have used it there. Cause that, uh, semicircular half wall would have looked nice upside down there.
Well, dog, you, you would be wanting to use that rock as a way up over, and I agree that it's a potential uh, way in, but you've got to remember that the defenses are not going to be sitting idle while you're climbing up on this rock. One of the nicest things about this piece in particular is if I line up the tires I almost definitely have the wall synchronized in place. Um, Hawk, I, I have to agree with you. The consoles are nice in that they can produce fairly high-res graphics direct to your TVs. But in the modern day, PCs can push higher graphics capabilities direct to TVs now. Um, years ago when high-end video cards were not as common. There could have been a, a pretty decent argument for not using a console or for using a console. But PCs are way more available nowadays with the capability of putting out 4K and even 10K HDMI. Well, even the Xbox One and the uh, PlayStation 4 were essentially just very specialized PCs. They were no longer the consoles of the past. Exactly, King. I'm using the... the Xbox controller plugged into my PC and it's doing exactly the same job as it would on the console. I've got a little bit of a turn in here, but I want to put... I'm thinking this is a good spot for a gate because... The gate has got to let people walk in, and this is pretty much the smoothest entry point. That's not the gate I want. I want to use this gate, but I want it backwards. See how close to straight this is? We're definitely moving into the yard, I think. Or the road's not actually, well, the road is not actually straight. But, uh, Hey, Jules.
Exactly. What? Why should you, should any device not be active from the moment you buy it? Just a hair of clipping there, and I think I can live with it. The more important factor is... Am I going to be able to go straight? And I believe I can go straight this way. Jules, I'm having a great Saturday. I hope you are as well. Now, yours is almost over over there in merry old England. even a logical point for leaves to build up, so that's good. Yeah, I th I'm really excited to see what else Microsoft and Bethesda has to offer tomorrow. Because, as we all know, I mean, Microsoft didn't only acquire Bethesda. But Bethesda has quite a bit of experience with uh, games such as Fallout and Skyrim and Obviously, Starfield, if they ever get it out to us. I want to know if any titles that we haven't seen yet from some of the other companies that they're, that Microsoft acquired are going to be able to take advantage of Bethesda's experience in the field. Because didn't Microsoft acquire, um, like, eight different game companies this year? This past year? Hey, Eric. Uh, we, I am building a settlement at Taffington, which is going to be the Minuteman... Water Purification Center. Oh, Hawk, see, a Thieves is, uh... They're doing something right. In my personal opinion there. Pardon me, please. Um, I, I have never seen video game water effects that worked, that looked so realistic prior to Sea of Thieves. I mean, literally, when playing that game, I can sometimes imagine smelling the... Uh, water from when I used to go out on a boat 
as a kid. And <coughs> if that's not realistic enough for you, I'm I'm kind of shocked. And the fact that the characters are so cartoon-like in that environment is just one of the things I enjoy about the game. Personal opinion, of course. Your mileage may vary. But of course, uh, Sea of Thieves, I don't know if Sea of Thieves would benefit from anything that I've seen from Bethesda. It is all-out purifiers. Uh, 320 water. I don't want to use chonkers over near the corner, so I don't want to use them too often. important to keep at least semi-straight along the edge of the road, at least out as far as, well, all the way to the end here, because we want to be able to protect the purifiers from the road. And with the curve of the road, that's going to be a difficult trail to follow. But I think we're up for it. What I really like about that piece I just used is how it can be positioned to change the elevation just slightly. So this wall is obviously at this height, but you're going up on this rise. You need to ra bring the top of the wall up a little bit because here you'd be able to look right over that part of the wall. This one ni nicely brings the elevation up, then you can use a piece like this to tie in the new elevation and work to the next slot. Um, there are eight of the small water-only purifiers, four of the land-based ones, but I like having them here in the in the water. 
and then five of the industrial. And it's all powered by a pair of fusion generators. Sounds like the grandkids are uh, playing in the hall. So if you hear some thumping, don't be alarmed. Bald girl. How you doing, VG? bit about what I'm going to do to keep turrets on the outside of the wall, but I'll burn that bridge when I cross it. Alright, take care, Eric. Thanks for stopping in. If you, if you enjoy what you're seeing here, next, uh, well, we do this every Saturday at noon U.S. Central Time. I do not want to go back down in elevation, so that piece isn't going to do it for me. Chonkers still has a job to do. Conkers is going to be the corner piece. And it is such a distinctive piece, I don't want to use it too often. That line is working pretty good. We're almost to the corner. Hey, I woke up breathing today, VG. I'm not going to complain. But it's been an actually a lovely sa Saturday. Uh, kids are playing. The dogs are sitting here and listening to the sound of my voice. Thanks, Jules. I, I wanted to set, set up something that looked like the Minutemen had gone 100% into providing water for the entire Commonwealth. This is not part of my UWF build. But I could easily see it being combined into that. Now we're definitely going to need to put a uh, place for the turret to live. Here, you sit here for now. Oh, thanks, Easy. Yeah, I... I don't take carriers out a lot. But when I can, 
I really enjoy taking them out with competent teams that help keep the carrier itself safe. And as you could see last night, that worked out very well for me. Um, the team was really top-notch in the realm of keeping, except for in that battle where where the uh, the team let the destroyer set up unopposed nearby both of the carriers. Hey, Judah! Happy Saturday to you! But other than that one battle, yeah, where the uh, the carriers were unfortunately put into peril by a dis rogue destroyer sitting in our uh, backfield in a smoke screen. Now I did go a little bit low with that but I wanted it to look like that tire is around the post and that these boards are spaced around it. And the nice thing about this piece is when I put a piece in on this edge here going this way and I am going to lose these trees I can pretty much I'm going to have to uh, turn off the timer on exit so I can work from outside. So yeah, the, uh, the teams did a very good job keeping those carriers safe for 90% uh, of the game. I have no complaints about how the la last four or five games, well, it was four games in carriers, I only had one team that I wasn't super thrilled about. I can live with that. It's one of the things that is different between World of Tanks and World of Warships. The teams actually think of themselves, the players tend to think of themselves as members of a team not individuals playing a team sport and it does really show when they put the effort into uh teamwork because if you recall in at least one of those last five games we were down we were effectively beaten early in the game and it was a comeback situation and we actually did come back um we were down by at least four ships. And turned it from a uh, defeat into more than just a Pyrrhic victory. I need to make sure that I'm not floating over the water there.
Get that lined up. A little bit lower, lower. There we go. And yes, it does allow for people to attack from this direction, which is not optimal, so we have to do something on this uh, dock side here. And I think this is the piece to use for that. If I get alignment right, And I will block off that, uh, that walk-around area as well. This one's going to be harder to see alignment, so... Stop floating. I can't see that at all from over here. That corner is just not sitting right. So Queen Elizabeth's seen... How many presidents? Twelve? Did you just say twelve? Wow. I think sometimes I forget just how old the Queen of England is. Not like it comes up a lot here in America. But... Okay, so we've got decent defense of that. I need to build off that wall going that way. Uh, probably one and a half pieces of wall. If not more. So let's start with I think warehouse walls are that tall, aren't they? That's taller than the warehouse wall, okay. It's 
going to be shorter than this, right? Because that's my luck. Not significantly shorter, though, so I can, I can definitely cope with that. And I think I want to go to metal. That should give us quite a bit of uh, protection from over here. And I know I'm losing the, if not lost, the daylight again. I apologize. Wow, I can use just one more piece of wall in there. And then I will go rest until daylight. That should definitely give the protection that that side needs. Let's take a uh, quick rest. Otto! Nice shooting last night. I could practically tune into your stream like an old-time Western. Now that we have daylight, it should be relatively easy to see what our wall looks like. You have to be way over here to even remotely have a chance to get at those purifiers. That one needs a single piece of wall over here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the he the headshots definitely make it go quicker, doesn't it? Uh, well, Jude, in in my head head cannon, the the uh, Minutemen are setting up to provide water to the entire Commonwealth, so they need to produce a lot of water. And because this is a fairly easy to protect site for them, they chose to build this here. Well, if we're going to be rebuilding the Commonwealth, we got to start by hydrating the Commonwealth. Because, you know,
people are not healthy if they're not hydrated. And to quote Adam Sandler, that's some high quality H2O right there. And of course, anywhere that you have resources that can be compromised, raiders will come and try and take those things. So you have to defend your water plant. Please tell me that's not sticking all the way through. It is. There we go. I guess it's going to keep that arc regardless. Still need to patch up this a little higher. Uh, yeah, dog, I, I've used that mod and I, I have no problem with it. I just was using only USO and place everywhere in this uh, playthrough when I started. So I want to keep this playthrough going with just those mods because I know they're working right. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, I, I just decided I was going to keep it with what I already had going on here. Okay, I'm pretty sure... If I do one of these out here... That covers that pretty well. That rock is actually, and the corner is actually in the way for this one, so I will need one more over here. Doesn't hurt to have more turret stands, though.
need to build a couple of turrets for the gate. Unless I still have some inside here that I forgot about. Which I might. Nope. None on the back. Okay. So a couple of turrets for the front. Slotto? Wow. <laughs> spousal, spousal pressure. I'll have to remember that. The wife is using spousal pressure on me. <laughs> okay. If I had the skills to make mods myself, I would make some custom signs for this place. But I do not have the artistic nor the programming skills to do so. I'm still debating on bet whether or not I should take this rail down. And that debate will continue. I have not made my mind up for that right now. We are going to want to have somebody doing the trading. Convincing all the caravans to stop in here and uh, pick up water in exchange for goods. And I think that we're going to need a clinic. I think I'm going to stop people from cooking in the living room with an open fire. Because somehow I don't think that uh, that's entirely safe. bug still hasn't despawned. I think a clinic on the first floor here makes the most sense. People who work here will need living space, 
which looks like the office has to go. Two nice sized rooms for beds, a bathroom to wash up in, a fire to cook on outdoors, and a clinic. Do we do the clinic in both sides, or just on one side, and then leave the kitchen? But if we have the kitchen, why do we have the, uh... Fire outside. Oh, the f nobody says the kitchen works. Take care, Jude. Thanks for coming on in. And if I need extra living space, I can create little uh, dormitories out here in this, this part of the field. And this will be where the, uh, any gardening gets done. So if I decide I need to produce food here, it'll be in here. Oh, so I mentioned I had an idea of what to uh, make them look like they're working out here. And this was my big plan. If I put the scavenging station out here, because of the way they made the scavenging station look, that could be construed as parts for repairing the walls and or the machines and the people who get assigned to scavenging stations might wander around a little bit but they always go back to the scavenging station over and over again and they even work around the scavenging station Just so long as he can move around the entire thing, because I don't remember which side they do that blowtorch on and all that. But that's my big plan for that space. Let's, uh, store that phone. Alright, store the table and the phone. Coffee cup, yes. Sleeping bag. Somebody's going to end up being a security guard. Security guards don't need real beds. You see, you can't store that. That sucks. store the couch though. I think this makes a nice little office space for our clinic. Now, one of the things I can do with uh, I like the look of the Tier 2 clinic, but I would prefer to have a Tier 3 clinic. And one of the nice things about USO 
so it gave me the rugs so I can use the uh, the unit that I like as the part for the doctor to stand at. And then put the tier 3 rug So I get the benefit of the better clinic and the look of the one that I like. Okay, so it's not in that. It's got to be decorations. themes. Do I have actual beds that look like gurneys? Yes, I do. There is no point in using a fake I can count for the sleeping needs of two patients or two residents in one. The doctor needs to look at it, I guess. Patient privacy isn't a big thing in uh, the Commonwealth. Put it where everybody can see. The doc needs a desk. Nothing too fancy, though. And I know that the doc is never going to go sit down at the desk. So I can put whatever chair I want there. Now watch, I'm going to make that statement and eventually I'm going to come back here and I'm going to find everybody and their brother sitting in this chair all the time. Even though I probably can't sit in it, right? I can't sit in it. I guarantee you I'm going to be disappointed because I'm wrong and people are going to sit in it all the time. And the doc does need a co consultation chair. I think the doc would try for something comfortable, right? This is padded.
I can get through okay. Doesn't really matter if they can get through okay. Now I need to go back to... Uh, no, it's in containers that we'll find refrigerators, right? Or cafe. Cafe. Cafe is going to have fridge. I'm 100% not so certain of it. Someplace there's going to be a refrigerator. go. Even matches. Still don't know what I'm going to do with the kitchen, but I'm going to do something. The fact that this brain fungus wouldn't let me store it irritates me. But it did let me move it, so that's good enough for me right now. Now then, people need to be able to sleep up here. That's a nightstand, so... Put this stuff in here while I lay out this room. Picture frame. Another excellent use for this right here. Wasteland OSHA approves. Get rid of the debris. I'm thinking we can have two beds over here on this wall. try and put the nightstand over there, but instead I'm just going to try and center these on the windows. They can share a nightstand. Um, I do think that I've got some random computer equipment that would look like it has gauges and stuff. I could put probably at the end of each row. Where would... I think that's going to be in... 
miscellaneous decorations? No. Come on. That's literally not going to have anything now. But I like that idea, Otto. I really do like that idea. Vending machines. Institute. Do they have Yeah, Mechanist is not they maybe if they have Vault There's the computers. I'd want them to look pretty beat up and none of these really do. Now this one kind of looks beat up. And instead of putting it on all of them, I could put it right in here. And naturally, I put it right where I didn't want it. There we go. Yeah, that wall is not going to cooperate, so here's what we'll do. We'll turn these this way. Monitoring equipment for the purifiers. Matches fell into the water. <laughs> all right, all right. A Texas salad. So how many different types of beef is that? Taffington's not a terrible place to, to work. If you're not trying to do something about that gaping hole in the in the roof, and I honestly don't feel like that's a good uh, item to try and fix. Turn off surface snap for that. The harder part, other than filling space here, is going to be getting people here.
need to do something with this wall. Um, no, I've never been to Cooper's. I've seen advertising for it, but, uh, being over in Port Arthur, I very rarely got up into your neck of the woods. Otto, I don't doubt that. I do not doubt that. I just accidentally bumped my dog with my foot, and now she's hoping that means that we're going to go do something fun. She doesn't realize that I find this fun. Because in her mind, this ain't fun. This is me sing still to her. Barn floor doesn't let a lot of light through either. That lined up pretty well. Okay, good. To find a spot where I can stand and see, that would be awesome. Come on. You son of a bitch. That room's topped off. Not that it matters which piece I use over here, but... Steal this trick from... fellow YouTube builder, Die. Okay, it wants to snap on the outside, but I don't want it to snap on the outside. That may be just may... there we go. Question, if I take this out... Put that there for now. And we get rid of that piece, store it. Now, how far over? I have room to shift that, so let's do that. Get that up against the wall. And then this piece covers that nicely. Let's 
Let's uh, turn that. I'm sticking through the wall at an angle. I done mucked up. It doesn't come through the wall. At least it doesn't look like it. But it's at an angle. And on the back side of the house, they just... Oh, yeah, it does come through the wall. Just barely visible. So I need to adjust that. It was nice trying to get it snapped in. But, if you can't get it straight, snapping doesn't help. Move this one over here. Come on. There we go. Try and find the right spot to stand to get it to do what you want it to do. And now I can get rid of that. And we have two bedrooms. Sleeping bag is still going to have to go somewhere. Because I think that I want more beds. Although I have seven beds. Do I need more beds? The sleeping bags are currently assigned to the uh, provisioner and the guard. So put them where they don't take up any room. And then this can be another bedroom if I want. It's getting dark again. I really wish my screen was the same color as what you guys are seeing. So this wasn't... Uh, hard for me to see how dark it's getting. Take care, Otto. Glad to have you in. Thanks for t stopping by. The steak of the fried chicken. Well, yeah, I could just invent settlers somehow, I'm sure. Again, I... You, I very, I use very few of the features of the mods that I've got the uh, USO and the uh, place everywhere, mostly because I only downloaded them for a couple of features and I'm learning more about them every day. But 
How many settlers does this place really need? Definitely going to want some uh, guards. So let's say we have two guards. We're going to need six guard posts. I want one guard post on the water, one guard post at each corner, that's three. I need a and I want the guard posts on the corners here to be exterior. Although I could build a rather simple guard tower right in here. Maybe the corner guard post should be interior. That way nobody has to be outside unless they're doing trading and stuff. In the event of an attack, of course. And we all know the place is going to get attacked. Do you want the guard post here? So before I forget about it, did I get it to the edge? be swimming up here and climbing up that dock, that's for sure. There's no coming in from underneath here. We need to do something about this spot right here. Because although I can't jump over that, it is rather low. And not very protective. But I'm thinking I can just put fence post. right on top here. As long as I get it lined up, should be able to uh, snap a fence to it. Are you seriously saying that I can't snap to that? Thank you.
Come on, snap where I want you to. There we go. Now it is fairly crappily put together. Turn the ground snapping off. Fair amount of scrap crap tasticness right here. Nobody's coming in that way, that's for sure. And I still need to block off over here. You can get around it by swimming, but I've never seen a raider swim. I think they're afraid of getting wet. Uh, chicken fried steak is basically Texas fried steak. It's just what they call it in other places. Usually a batter, uh, you you beat it pretty uh, thoroughly with a tenderizer to get it soft enough to uh, cut with the edge of a fork, and then you batter dip it and deep fry it. Oh yeah, white pepper gravy is a requirement for that easy. Uh, yeah, for another 10-15 uh, minutes, uh, 15 minutes will be... Actually, uh, about five minutes, and we're going to start doing the recap of what we've done today. I'm sure that I'm going to be doing more here next week. Because I haven't finished decorating upstairs. I have only two of the planned six guard shacks. Well, technically, I only have one of the planned six guard shacks. And she assigned herself to under between them. That's a good start. So, why don't I do the recap now? It'll give me a few extra minutes to take care of a few things around the house here. Uh, my daughter is uh, currently at the doctor. Um, she's probably going to be staying there overnight, so I'm going to need to put together a bag for her. Um, so let's do our recap. And hopefully y'all won't feel cheated out of the five or ten minutes. As you all know, we are here at Taffington Boathouse. We have put together a security perimeter to block off most of the boathouse. Now, this little spot here I don't think is an issue, but I'll revisit that thought uh, for next week's build, I might want to uh, enclose that so that people can't 
try and sneak in the back way. We built the security perimeter to take advantage of the roadside so that traders who come up and down the road will be able to see that there's a safe place to come inside and do some trading. If you come over here you can see that the water purifiers are fairly well protected from anybody coming over in this direction. Of course the security perimeter has multiple turrets on it to keep uh, the people inside safe. We moved the cooking fire outside instead of burning down the house. We put four of the land-based purifiers, eight of the small water purifiers, and four of the, or five of the industrial size purifiers, and we will be providing the entire commonwealth with water. We have monitoring equipment to operate the, the uh, purifiers. We'll probably do something uh, special with the... Wow, she moved fast. She was just out at the road. Uh, probably do something to make it appear that these are wired uh, into the monitoring software. On the first floor here, we've created a clinic for the uh, people who come in and need help, medical help. Obviously, the area is very dangerous with super mutants both around the corner at the uh, old hospital and, oh, pardon me, across the water near the boat ramp. Uh, a different group of super mutants. We made some excellent sleeping quarters up here. The guard and the provisioner are currently using the sleeping bags, so the beds themselves are free for the next group of settlers who come in to operate the uh, purification units. We have another room right here suitable for uh, additional beds. We have a semi-functional bathroom which allows for daily needs and of course a kitchen for them to relax in at the end of a hard day. We'll put maybe a second table in here next week and get some more chairs. And of course forgot to point out that we did a barn floor as a ceiling for these two areas which of course gives us a respite from the rain due to the large hole that is the roof. The final thing that we got accomplished today is the generator room. We removed the posts that stuck up through the floor and put this mesh floor down, which enables us to utilize the water below for cooling, and put a pair of fusion generators in here to provide all the power necessary for the defense and the uh, water purification. Uh, upgrades to the defense will come in the form of laser turrets, uh, which will provide a slightly higher defense level. But more importantly, use some of that power more effectively. Because I don't think we're using near enough power. And we've got plenty to spare. And perhaps next week we're going to experiment with what the... the uh, sag in our cables looks like across this uh, gap here. Maybe I can put a conduit on this pole and over on this house near these uh, connectors here and we can use 
what appears to be existing wiring to uh, help wire up the defenses. As a matter of fact, I think that's a great place to start next week, is playing with the electrical outdoors. And that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to get some distance from my character, so let's uh, get outside the build area. There we go. get up into our perch I want to thank everybody for coming out today for the almost three full hours of building we did here at Taffington I enjoyed having your company and the conversation was top-notch I hope that you enjoyed the game I certainly enjoyed bringing it to you I will be back Monday evening with Mass Effect Legendary Edition, uh, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Until then, take care, everybody. Check in on friends and family. Make sure everybody's doing okay. And I will see you next time.